Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reads for the 9th to the 13th of September. Um, big thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed and left me comments about what's happening in their world. Um, if you find this does resonate with you, please leave me a comment. I'm keen to understand what's going on for you um, and I, I just love reading them. So uh, let's get started. 9th to the 13th of September for my Cappies. Hope for a good reading, Capricorn. Some of them have been tough this week. Seven of Cups. You sure do have some options. That's good to know. Ace of Swords. Good. Seven of Swords in reverse. Also good. The Hermit. Hmm. Ooh, okay, well that absolutely wanted to come out. And Three of Swords. <clears throat> so I think that you're still working through past hurt of some sort. Um, but you're coming out of it because you're starting to see... You know, you're starting to consider that you do have some other options. You've got the Ace of Swords here, kind of planting the seed a little bit about um, uh, what ideas you might have to get out there and thinking about, you know, even thinking about the new beginnings and uh, starting to date again or see people again. Um, this Hermit. You're still not out of hermit mode, though. You're still re reflecting on probably this Three of Swords over here, which is causing you just a little bit of... You're holding back a little bit, Capricorn, basically. You're not quite healed yet, and that's okay. Let's see. Okay, yeah, Nine of Wands. Okay, yeah, so you're still a bit wounded um, from that, which is the Nine of Wands there. Um, he wanted to jump out. Uh, which just confirms what I said. So what's the Seven of Cups? Who are these options? Have we got any information on that, please? Queen of Swords, yep. Yeah. Um, you do have options. Sorry, Queen of Swords in reverse. You do have options, but your mind is on someone else still. What's this Eight of Swords? <clears throat> yeah, you are almost trying to force yourself to be over this before you're ready. Um, why are you doing that? So seven of swords in reverse, please. Nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're not feeling good. You really lost your confidence, Capricorn, on all of this. <clears throat> yep, the sun in reverse. Mm. Yeah. This person destroyed you when they left. But you're actually starting to heal from it. You were a broken human being um, when you went through this. But you're starting now to see the light. You're starting to, like I said, starting to consider some of your options. Um, you're coming out of this wounded period, <clears throat> which is good. How does Capricorn feel about all of this? Death. So you know that the cycle has ended. Um, you've accepted that it's ended. You fought it for a very long time, uh, which is probably why it's been taking you so long to heal, why you've been in that hermit mode for so long. Yeah. 
and that other person isn't offering you anything anymore. And I think you've accepted that. Um, the Five of Swords in reverse, yeah. Let's see if there's anyone new coming towards Capricorn. Sometimes I like to do this when it's clear that it's... Oh, hello, Queen of Cups. Okay, so you might have a water sign coming towards you next. Ten of Swans just flew out um, in the reverse. And that's going to help you release this... Um, heavy feeling that you've got going on that you're sort of still trying to process um meeting this person is going to make you feel light again um yeah it could be a water sign but they're full of love whoever they are now it's the uh ace of cups just tried to pop out then just letting you know um now this isn't going to come to you until you are ready until the universe can see that you are strong enough again to um, have the opportunity for someone new. So, but this is just what is coming for you next. Um, so that's really exciting. Have we got anything else on this new person that's coming? Justice. Ah, oh, that's good. So it's going to be someone that is. Um, balanced and fair and um, probably quite intelligent and strong um, so great qualities to have in a partner um, especially since some of this that happened in the past is probably not fair but they're I'm really sensing that this person is going to make you feel really light again like you you're going to be on top of the world kind of thing. You'll have a skip in your step. It's going to be really exciting. So very good to know. You are still healing. You are still moving through this. Um, that's probably going to be the energy for this week. But let's get some advice and see if we can help you get through that. So what advice is there for Capricorn in this situation for this week, please? 9th to the 13th. <clears throat> Two of Swords, yeah, you're coming out of this confusion. Um, three of Wands, yeah, you're and you're moving forward, which is really good, but you're doing it in your own time, you're not rushing there. It's a slowly, slowly, you could be thinking about going and doing some travel, even. Um, but you are definitely, yeah, you do it, you're taking your time, which I think is really good. Um, and they're encouraging you to take your time. Take all the time you need. This person isn't going anywhere. This person is meant for you. So when you're ready, the universe will say, okay, I'm, I'm, um, you're ready now. Here, here this person is. Here's a platter. Here is this person. Um, the reason I paused is because this king of, uh, sorry, queen of wands has come up in reverse. And that's just cautioning you not to become bitter. So don't become... Um, don't don't lose your faith in love basically don't let all of this turn you to be bitter and anti-love because that's going to affect your next relationship okay let's do a uh, romance angel just to see what advice romance angels have for capricorn please Playfulness. So that's really great. Um, allow your inner youthful spirit and fun to shine. That's going to help with this healing process too. And, you know, going out and be having fun with your friends is probably going to provide you more opportunity to run into this Queen of Cups. Like I said, they will come to you, but probably not. Well, it's going to take them a little longer to come to you if you're sitting on your couch every single night. Um, so get out there, be playful, have some fun. Uh, go out with your friends and family, whatever you need to do. But that's the, having the fun bit is actually what's going to help you um, move through some of this heavier energy. Okay, Capricorn, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. And please leave me a comment down in the comments below so that I can know what's happening with you. Talk to you soon. Bye.